laying down with him. Hey, yo, Chuck, you got to tell him, dance it like that. Screaming gangs are 20 years later. Of course, it does what consciousness made it. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, thanks for joining us. And uh, today we're gonna be doing another decapitation. So today I'm gonna have to go with the old granddad bonded. So get yourself a glass, get yourself a nice, nice bourbon. If you don't have bourbon, any whiskey will do. And let's get into some whiskey business. All right, well, like I said, thanks for joining me. Hopefully you guys are gonna have a sip with me. Uh, it is a beautiful Sunday today, and uh, it's just gorgeous outside. I got a lot of work done on my car yesterday, and um, today, unfortunately, even though it's nice outside, I'm gonna be spending the day inside because I'm gonna be remodeling uh, the recording area and my workout area. Um, as well as my garden area because I, I am a um, indoor gardener and uh, yeah I just want to move some stuff around and reorganize the place I want to get a table set up so I can sit and do these recordings make it a little bit more comfortable to sit and uh, do some tastings um, while on camera so yeah without further ado guys it is time to open the old granddad bonded bottled and bond um, it is my first time trying an old old granddad product, and um, I figured why not start it, start off my journey um, with the bonded because everyone seems to say that it is the best one anyway. Is there? Let me just make sure there's no perforation on this before I go ahead and slice something that I don't need to. Um, so this is coming in at 100 proof. 50% ABV, obviously, um, and let me just get this sucker open. You know, it it's kind of um, bothersome when companies don't put a perforation. So, like, like why? But, anyways, get this all cleaned up, and um. What I want to do first here is pour this so it can open up. It says high rye mash bill. I don't have the mash bill on hand, but I will throw it on screen right here. I guess I'll go ahead and read the back after I get a pour. This is looking like a synthetic cap or cork rather, but, um, and I have noticed synthetic caps don't give you that nice sexy pop that you want, but it's, it's not about the cork pop or the bottle really it's about what's inside so without further ado guys ready for this decapitation oh it's a stiff one okay i was wrong that was nice Ooh, let's get let's get ourselves a nice pour of this it's a pretty uh standard looking wine bottle it's a type situation we got i would say yeah it's it's kind of like a wine bottle but a a fat neck wine bottle we don't need too much right now so yeah there we are all right so we got our dram poured right off the bat nose smelling like a, a very typical bourbon brown sugar cinnamon rye spice i want to say a faint bit of light tobacco maybe like a dark cherry something we'll let that open up for a little bit and we'll go ahead and read the back of the bottle so this is like i said a bottled and bomb bond in accordance with old granddad himself and the u.s government of course because couldn't be bonded otherwise 
old grandad bonded is distilled under the requirements of the century-old bottle and bond act created to ensure the integrity of bourbon old grandad bonded bourbon is the product of one distillery and one distiller in a single season barreled for at least th four years and bottled at exactly 100 pr proof so cool they kind of go into what it means to be a bottled and bond product i like that this will be my first labeled bottled and bond product and uh yeah first review of a bottled and bond product so pretty excited about that that's pretty cool um and i've heard a lot of great things about old granddad as always with the neck pour you know you can't expect too much um it needs time to open up a little bit in the bottle before you you get all those nice notes but Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and give this some nosing. Let's see what I get here. I want to say candied cherries. Cherry candy, not a Twizzler, but like a hard cherry candy. Those hard candies um, that are usually in a circle tin. Got the white powder on it. Brown sugar. Like I said, the rye spice. Very typical bourbon smell. Uh, I'm getting... Still getting that light tobacco in there. It's nice. Well, without further ado, guys, I know you've all been waiting to take a sip, so cheers. So it's got a bit of heat. Um, almost feels a little bit hotter than 100 proof. Um, the heat really hits you first. The, the mouth coating effect is... I would say like low to medium. It's not super thick. Um, you don't get like a, a really nice mouth coat, but but it, it, it's there. It's definitely not like a 90 proof um, or 80 proof for that matter. It, it is thicker than that. Mm, some car caramels coming out. I don't know why I said caramel. I always say caramel, but caramel. I, I don't know, I feel elegant today. <laughs> so, after you get past that initial burn, uh, it's very uh, rye heavy. So lots of rye spice, dusting of cinnamon in there. Um, you're getting a very faint, very, very faint um, cherry. You're getting car caramel, uh, brown sugar for sure, melted butter. Maybe even a caramelized butter, actually. I'm getting that light tobacco on the finish, actually. I don't get it at all when it's in my mouth. Ooh, the sweetness is starting to come out even more now. Caramel. Slight bit of cherry. Yeah, the tobacco is not not prevalent while it's in your mouth, but it's in the finish there. It's It's very faint. The finish is a uh, warm rye spice, uh, typical bourbon notes into the finish, like sweet, uh, sweet caramel, brown sugar, no cherry in the finish. It's just, it's, it's not the most exciting finish. I would say it's like medium length. Still got a bit of uh, heat and rye spice there, but nothing more than heat, rye spice, and tobacco right now. So I'd say it's, it's a... Uh, short to medium finish uh, overall it's pretty good we're gonna go ahead and add a few drips of water here I like to use a dripper bottle the reason I like a dripper bottle is because well it gives you the same size drip every time it's not like doing a straw full or a teaspoon it's just I count how many drips I'm gonna do it gives you the same drip every time you keep it closed you don't I don't know you don't need to bring a glass of water and a spoon every time and this is uh, reverse osmosis water, so it's not no tap water, absolutely not. Even though we have pretty soft tap water here, where I live, it is, I, I don't, we don't drink that. We do not drink that. Mmm. Ooh, this, this unlocked the tobacco a lot more, wow. Dark chocolate, too. Mmm. Wow, that quick too. It hasn't even sent. I'm gonna go ahead and take a sip of water. Sweet, 
sweet caramel, tobacco, and dark chocolate are super prevalent now. The cherry's gone. Mm. Still get that rice spice, but it's tamed down a lot. Oh, well, anyways, let's go in for a sip. Cheers. Oh, wow. It's funny because it's like it flip-flopped. So before, the nose was um, much more cherry-heavy, and the palate was lacking in the fruit. But now, the nose with water, you don't get the cherry at all. But on the palate, it's it's there. It's the first thing that hits your tongue with the, with the warm spice. Now, it's not a caramelized butter. It is clarified butter if you've ever had clarified butter or ghee um if you guys do keto i'm sure you know what ghee is and tastes like it is delicious and uh if you don't i definitely recommend it it's great for sauces great for everything and it's it's a healthy clean product but that's besides the point we're here for the whiskey not the clarified butter adding water definitely shut that finish down um a lot as to be expected, but adding water um, took away the sweetness, the tobacco, all that from the finish, and you're just getting, I'm sorry, you're just getting the warmness up in the chest, that's all, no no taste, nothing on the back end. As far as uh, Old Grandad Bonnet goes, I wouldn't be adding water to this, I mean, I don't typically add water to many things, uh, but it is nice to unlock some flavors. Let me know if you guys have ever had Old Grandad Bonnet or any of their other um, bottlings. I would be interested to know. This is the first one that I could find available. I picked it up up north. Uh, I don't think we have it at the LCBO or on their website. So when I seen it, and I, I got this on sale as well, um, I had to pick it up. So definitely for the price, um, I would say... Like I said, I can't rate this kind, of, this on availability just like my last um, um, decapitation just because where I live, it is completely unavailable. So it's just not fair to rate it based on availability because the, the masses can probably find this at every liquor store. But if you live in Ontario, every liquor store is the LCBO and they all carry pretty much the same thing. And if they don't, the website carries the same all the same stuff for no matter where you live so that out of the way we're going to base this strictly on value taste nose and finish so value i think i paid 35 canadian for this bottle and um the value is absolutely there i would say that is a that is a 9 out of 10 value. You're getting a bottle and bond product for $35 in Canada. I don't think you can beat that, given that is on sale. Um, can't remember the exact discount. Maybe 22% off. I don't remember. But um, values there. The palette's a very typical bourbon palette. So nothing too exciting. Nothing that stands out for me. I, w I will say it is a nice palette. It is lacking in the mouth coating department, as far as I'm concerned. Um, being a higher proof, you know, I've had things much lower proof that give you a nice mouth coating viscosity, or even like like the Knob Creek um, that is sitting at 100 proof, Knob Creek nine year, and that is just like syrup. I always like to compare things um, or the viscosities of things to my Knob Creek nine year because that that is just syrup, and I love it. Um, not necessarily like syrup on the palate, but, but the mouth coating effect. Um, so it's lacking there. I'm going to have to give this palette, uh, an 8.7. It's pretty good. Uh, it's a good entry into bourbon, but I think it, it, it runs a little bit hot for the proof, uh, on the nose. The nose is pretty nice. Still very typical bourbon. I like that I'm getting a little bit of tobacco in there, but that's not, that's not too hard to come by. So I'm gonna go ahead and give the nose an 7.9. It's good, it's not excellent, it's not super complex, it's very typical for a bourbon. 
the finish is probably going to be a 70, you know, it's maybe even like a, let's give it a 69, you know, old granddad likes the 69. That was not a good joke, but you know, whatever. It's 69 on the, the finish. It's not that, not that good. It's, it's not long by any means. And it, it definitely doesn't have much complexity to it. Um, but, you know, given the price, $35 Canadian, that's kind of a steal. So, anyways, let me know if you guys have tried this down below. And let me know what uh, what notes you got on the nose palette and finish. Let me know what you would rate this. I would say overall, because I keep forgetting to do overalls, and I apologize for that. 86 overall. I think it's good. I think based on the price, it's good. Would I buy it again? Um, for $35, yeah. But honestly, for $35, I can get this old Forester, which is much more readily available where I am. Yeah, it's only 86 proof, but the, the palette is a lot nicer for me, and the nose is absolutely just, I could smell it all day. I love it. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think down below. I really appreciate it. Like the video if you liked, and uh, definitely subscribe if you're interested and want to see more. Uh, like I said, or like I keep saying, quality is going to improve. We're going to be uh, uploading every Sunday uh, consistently. And yeah, just leave your comments down below. Leave a like. I really appreciate it. It all it all helps me and helps the YouTube algorithm get my video out there and more people to see it, which is what I want. I love um, sharing notes and, and opinions and stuff like that and getting out there and talking to some of you guys that definitely have a lot more options out there when it comes to um, bourbons and stuff than I do so I like to get in the know before I go you know what I'm saying go to the store and spend about a hundred bucks on a bottle that you guys in America pay $25 for uh, I like to know so anyways this has been Jesse uh, or whiskey business and um, I hope everyone's doing well staying healthy and staying safe I'm out guys have a great rest of the week well have a great rest of the weekend and a great week starting tomorrow if you're watching this on a Sunday. Cheers. Cheer cheers? Cheers. Um, that's it. Um, there's no no fixing that ending, jeez.